Starting off this countdown, we have Deja Vu. We all know what Deja Vu is. I'm getting Deja Vu right now talking about it because I've done a video on Deja Vu before. But basically it's the feeling that something has already happened before and scientists have struggled to explain what causes it. Well there's a theory out there that Deja Vu occurs when different universes are in sync for a short period of time. For example, maybe you're in the bathroom and you grab your toothbrush. In another universe at the same time, maybe that version of yourself grabbed a hairbrush. Or in one universe you pour a glass of wine. Wine, and another, you pour yourself a glass of champagne. Those things are happening at the same time, just with small differences. But you're in sync for that moment, and that's why you think to yourself, oh hey, I've done this before. Because in another universe, you just actually did. It's a crazy theory, but many believe it's true. I mean, for all we know, it is true. It's just hard to prove these things. Moving on at number nine, we have the dreams. And if you guys are liking this so far, then smash that like button because it really helps me out and I appreciate it, and you're the best. Some scientists believe that dreams are actually glimpses into a a parallel universe. By dreaming, you are seeing what yourself in another universe is doing. A thousand years ago, mystics believed that dreams are what are happening in a parallel universe. But they also believed that this universe was home to ghosts and spirits. Well, over the years, scientists have agreed with this theory, minus all the ghost and spirit stuff. Well, this could explain why some people have had vivid dreams of places that they have never visited. Maybe that's because their other self was currently there visiting it. Or when you see something in your dream, and then the next Next day, it happens in real life. That has happened to me on a number of occasions. Either you're psychic or you got an insight into another universe when you were dreaming, and that's how you knew it was going to occur. Now, there is no way to prove this, but there's also no way to disprove this. In our eighth spot today, we have the Flintstones. Who loves this classic cartoon? That and the Jetsons were pretty iconic. Smash that like button if you agree. Now, the Flintstones are pronounced as so. So you would think it would be spelt as so. No, apparently it's the flint stones with the hard T. Uh, I refuse to believe this. Now you may be thinking, Lindsay, what's the big deal? Well, this is an example of the Mandela effect. I've talked about this before a lot. Basically, it's when a bunch of people remember something being a certain way, and another group of people remember it being a different way. The Mandela effect, for those of you who don't know, is named off of Nelson Mandela. Because people clearly remember him dying in prison in the 80s, when he didn't actually pass away until 2013. So theory goes that there are parallel universes out there. In this case, we have the Flintstones universe and the Flintstones universe. Over time, maybe our universe is merged, which is why we have the memory of the Flintstones. The show was actually named that just in another universe. Little things like these are signs that multiple universes are out there. In our seventh spot today, we have the strange space signals. In spring of 2020, NASA legit thought they found concrete evidence of parallel universes. Basically, they detected some odd signals coming from the South Pole. It was so odd that they had no explanation for it besides parallel universes. So basically, they discovered that high energy neutrinos were coming up out of the earth and headed to the sky. In fact, they found that this energy was coming up from the earth instead of down from space. And this was weird for a number of reasons. The fact it was going up suggests that when the big bang occurred, it formed two universes, one that flows forward and the other in reverse. Meaning the other universe is traveling back in time while we're moving forward. For them, the Big Bang represents an end, not the beginning. <sighs> That is mind blowing. In our sixth spot, we have Star Wars. This is another example of the Mandela effect, and it's going to make you freaking lose your mind. Who here is a Star Wars fan? Smash that like button or comment down below if you are. Well, even if you're not a fan, I'm sure you all have heard or seen that dramatic scene where it's revealed that Luke's father is, spoiler alert, Darth Vader. He goes, Luke, I am your father. Wrong. Apparently, he never even said that. Yet we all remember him saying the line exactly like that. And even huge Star Wars fans agree to this. Well, when you watch the scene, Luke says, he told me you killed him, in regards to Obi-Wan telling him that Darth Vader killed his dad. Then Darth Vader replies with, no. I am your father. So he never even says Luke, it's just no. What the actual heck? So again, people believe that this is a sign that we switched universes. In the other universe, the movie had Darth Vader say the line, Luke, I am your father. In this universe, he did not. 
mad at that one. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the black holes. This next theory was created by Stephen Hawking, and that dude was a freaking genius. So if he believes that black holes are a signal from a parallel universe, then maybe I do too. So in 2016, Stephen Hawking created a study in which he proposed that black holes actually lead to another universe. Instead of destroying everything that goes near them, it just transports you into another universe. Previously, it was said that anything that gets sucked into the hole will be destroyed and lost forever. But in this case, they would just travel through and pop out into another universe. Maybe that's why scientists are starting to discover weird space objects that look unlike anything from our universe. It's because they're coming from a different universe. Maybe Stephen Hawking is onto something, and black holes are actually portals. In our fourth spot, we have the simulation. In 2018, researchers ran a massive computer simulation that involved building a new universe under a variety of different conditions. And they discovered that universes could still be created even with less dark energy as ours. Study co-author Pascal Alahi said, and I quote, even in universes with 300 times as much dark energy as ours, life found a way. Our simulation showed that the accelerated expansion driven by dark energy has hardly any impact on the birth of stars, and hence places for life to arise. Meaning other planets can exist in other universes, even if that universe was being torn apart by dark energy. He continued on saying, and I quote, even increasing dark energy many hundreds of times might not be enough to make a dead universe. They then went on to believe that aliens are living on planets in other universes. The reason we haven't found them yet is because they are in other universes, not ours. In our third spot, we have the pattern. A number of astronomers started picking up a weird signal coming from the sky. Basically, the signal will chime for four days, then after the fourth day, it'll stop. It will then stop for 12 days before picking up again and doing the same thing over and over again. It's thought that maybe on the days where it's not sending a signal towards us, it's actually sending a signal in another direction or to another universe. Some believe that this is coming from aliens or other life forms, or from people in another universe. If not, what else could it be? The signal is very consistent and they still don't have an explanation for it. In our second spot, we have the silence of the lambs. Here's another Mandela effect example that will make you lose your mind. Okay. All of you have better seen the movie Silence of the Lambs. If you haven't, you're not a true horror fan. Anyways, for some reason, we all remember Hannibal Lecter going, hello Clarice. You know, that was my Anthony Hopkins impression. Pretty good one. And he says it in a really freaking scary way. But apparently, he never said that in the movie. He only has said good morning during their first meeting. This is not okay. I literally can picture him saying it right now. So here's another sign that there are multiple universes. There's a universe where Anthony Hopkins does hello Clarice and one where he doesn't. And in our number one spot today, we have the cosmic bruise. In 2017, cosmologists discovered a weird cold spot in the universe. After studying it, a number of people believe that this cold spot is a bruise that was left after our universe collided with another universe. Professor Tom Shanks in Durham University's Center for Extragalactic Astronomy said, and I quote, one explanation for the cold spot is that it might be the remnant signal of the collision of our universe and one of the trillions of others. In fact, the team found four bruises meaning that our universe has collided several other times in the past, meaning there has to be multiple universes out there. Starting off this countdown, we have the deck of cards. Now, I don't know about you, but normal deck of cards don't have number one cards. In replace, they have aces. But would you look at that? This odd deck had ones, which makes me very uncomfortable. I don't know about you, but I've never seen this before. If we're playing Go Fish and you whip out a one, I'm leaving, I'm sorry. Jokes aside, we have decks with aces because they can serve as the highest card or lowest. So it can serve as a one, or more than one. That's why we don't have ones, according to Google. Don't quote me. So I don't know where this person got their cards from, but it just seems wrong. In our ninth spot today, we have the knockoffs. Sometimes brand name pieces can be expensive and we want the same or similar item, but cheaper. That's where knockoff brands come into play. Take a look at these cereals. They're so similar. Yet yeah, so different. So we got cocoa rice instead of cocoa puffs. We got honey nut crispy oats instead of honey nut Cheerios. Fruit rounds instead of fruit loops. Marshmallows and stars instead of lucky charms. Cookies instead of cookie crisp. And lastly, kids crunch instead of captain crunch. Now if I saw an aisle filled with those, I think I was transported to another universe. 
In our eighth spot today, we have the map. Now let's get to a serious one. In 1929, a group of historians discovered something pretty strange. It was a map from 1513 written on the skin of a gazelle. It was created by a well known admiral of the Turkish Navy. Well, what's odd is that the map included Europe and North Africa, the coast of Brazil, several islands, and even Antarctica, which was not discovered until 300 years later. Not only that, but it was said that Antarctica was not covered in ice. The last time that occurred was more than 6,000 years ago. So this whole thing just doesn't make any sense. How did this man map a continent that's been covered by ice for the last 6,000 years? Maybe he's from a parallel universe, or maybe the map is. In our seventh spot today, we have the stop sign. Again, another item that just makes me uncomfortable. Someone decided to create a lowercase stop sign, and it looks like it's like, stop, no, just stop. Like it's too gentle. As a wise movie once said, no, 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 stick to the stuff you know. It's better by far to keep things as they are. Don't mess with the flow. Stick to the status quo. If you know what movie that's from, I automatically love you. But maybe this person was driving around in another universe. Who knows? In our sixth spot today, we have the Aumuamua artifact. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right, because in another video I didn't, so now I'm changing the pronunciation. Let me know if I get it right, just be gentle, folks. In 2017, this object was found flying by in our solar system. Now, it's quite weird. It looks like a space rock, but it's not a comet or asteroid. It's too small and oddly shaped to be an asteroid. This thing is long. In fact, this is now the most elongated known space object. Not only that, but astronomers were shocked by the condition of it. Astronomers thought that the first space rock to enter our solar system would be a ball of ice and rocks like a comet. But this isn't one. No. Not only is it not shaped like one, but there's usually a cloud of dust and gas surrounding comets, and this object just doesn't have that. But before scientists could study it too much, it left our solar system. All we know is that the strange object came from another solar system. Or maybe a different universe. And that's why it's so weird and unlike anything we've ever seen before. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Archless McDonald's. Imagine this, okay? You're hungry, you're driving down a road, madly looking for places to stop and eat, and that's when you see it. Off in the distance, you see two golden arches, and you know exactly what awaits you. The one and only McDonald's. Except whatever universe this is in, McDonald's only has one arch. Like, hello, it's not Nick Donald's, it's Mick. So stop, okay? Or maybe someone messed up with the designing this restaurant, I don't know. Also, since when does McDonald's sell just bags of ice? Like, look at the sign. Bag of ice, one dollar. I mean, it's a steal nonetheless, but still, that's odd on its own as well. In our fourth spot today, we have the Ulfbert sword. Now, this is something scientists like to call an out of place object. And that's because the sword dates back from around 800 to 1000 AD, which is shocking since they didn't have technology to make such swords back then. Swords like this were made 800 years later during the Industrial Revolution. Not only that, but its carbon content is three times higher than other swords of its time. It also suggested that in order to make this sword, iron ore had to have been heated to at least 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Again, they didn't have that technology to do that back then. So many people are perplexed. Well, there are a bunch of theories. One is that it was dropped by a time traveler, or two, it might have come from a parallel universe. One that is far more advanced than ours. But let me know your theory in the comments below. In our third spot today, we have Lost and Found. A number of people on Reddit have shared stories in which they have lost something only for it to reappear in a place where it's impossible to. So let me explain. So one man said that he was with his cousin at Home Depot. Before they went in, the cousin grabbed his wallet, but he didn't have any pockets, so he asked the narrator if he could put his wallet inside his pocket so that he didn't have to carry it around. He agreed and he zipped it into his track pants. After shopping around at Home Depot for a bit, they went to check out, but his wallet wasn't in the track pants. So they retraced their steps thinking maybe it fell out, but nothing. So they decided just to go back to the car and return to the store later. When they got to the car, lo and behold, the wallet was on the dashboard. Which is wild, because the cousin literally handed him the wallet and he zipped it into his pants. 
Now, one person believes that what happened was the universe glitched, and maybe in another reality, the man just left his wallet on the dashboard. Somehow, those universes merged, hence why the wallet was on the dash. Now, it's all confusing how this stuff works, but that's me explaining it the most basic way possible. In our second spot, we have the little dino looking figures. In 1944, thousands of little dino looking figures were dug up in Mexico. Only problem is that the pieces date back to 2500 BCE, a time when no dinosaurs were roaming around and people couldn't have possibly known about dinosaurs then. This is all according to scientists. So were there some other creatures that roamed the earth back then that we don't know of? Or is there a time traveling paleontologist out there? Imagine that, like Ross from Friends also being a time traveler, I love that. I don't know, or the object is from another universe. And in our number one spot today, we have the ring. Now this next individual has a similar story to the Home Depot boys. So for her, she was washing the dishes one day when she heard a clink in her sink. Her ring that she took off when she was doing the dishes had slipped and fell into the sink and down the drain. Now, it was just a cheap one, so she wasn't too concerned. It wasn't like her wedding ring. So she decided to just go on about her day. In the end, she forgot that the ring was even there. That was until a week later when she was putting on her shoes and felt something poking her toe. She emptied out her shoe and her ring clanked to the floor. So somehow, the ring went from being in her sink drain to in her shoe. Someone explain that to me. I don't know, maybe house elves are real. Kicking off the list at number 10, Katie Rocks. You ever hop in the shower first thing in the morning and it feels like literal paradise? Otherworldly, some would say. Well, a new TikTok trend has me meditating in the shower now. Apparently, here we go. TikTok users left, right, and center are stepping forward, or rather backwards, with their claims on entering parallel universes. Nashville model Katie Rocks recently kicked this off and she used the social media platform to recall a 2017 trip to Paris that some of her classmates claimed missed the flight, although Katie saw them with her own eyes. I remember walking on that aircraft past two of my friends and sitting like three rows behind them. Then the four of us took a taxi back to the apartments we were staying in while we were in school and I distinctly remember this. Two days later they're talking about how they weren't three rows in front of us and to this day I have no idea why they remember missing the flight. That's way too close to the plot of Final Destination. Honestly this creeps me out just reading about it. I can't even begin to unravel this one. No way. The same user, Katie Rocks, posted again a month later. This time saying she's since discovered the ability to shift realities. Showers. Hot showers are the key, apparently. I would have guessed baths, but showers are cool too. We'll, we'll take those. Number nine, a familiar face. Username Highlife No Miller Light posted this one a couple months back on Reddit. Great name also, gotta, gotta say, that's a really good name. It's since got a lot of attention, uh, let me know what you think. They say, I'm from a very dry, hot state in the US, and I was visiting California on a trip with my wife. While out eating, we both witnessed a person that looked exactly like me. Same typical mid fade and head dents inherited from my father, same body type, only chubby rather than my more slim and athletic frame. I saw the side profile from the back as they walked away from view and it was my exact face. That's so creepy. My wife had a direct view but could not remember directly what my face looked like. But she noted similarities from my body to head and even the way that I walked. I couldn't believe what we saw. Any thoughts? Question mark? I mean, if you didn't mention the head dents and got that specific, this wouldn't have stuck with me like it did. I also love the subtle roast on the other you. You're like, yeah, this guy was just like me, only, you know, not ripped. Otherwise, that's quite creepy. Thanks for sharing. Number eight, Quantum Leap. So yeah, I went down that rabbit hole I talked about and I discovered another TikTok. How fun, we love these, awesome. This Quantum Leap was obtained by Marion Valenza. She took to the social media platform to implore others to take the leap. You know, no more manifestation Mondays. The key to these Quantum Leaps is a hot shower. Yeah, a hot shower, how convenient is that? Thank God it doesn't suck, you know? Thank God it's not a cold ice bath or else no one would know. Valenza explains the first rule here. Number one is that you wanna give yourself enough time because you don't want to rush this, obviously. You want to do this with intentionality, she says. Yeah, sorry I'm late, boss. I don't want to rush my hot quantum shower. You know how it is. He's like, oh yeah, classic. Next step is to literally visualize the water cleansing you so that it removes all your limiting beliefs, the negative thoughts that you have, all the things holding you back from stepping into your higher self. Visualize not currently being late for work. And then there you go, you're set. I'm gonna try this tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna have a hot quantum shower and arrive at 10.15. Number seven, 
Sleep Street. This one comes from username Oopsies. It's like Oopsies, but with a bit more O. Oh. Reoccurring dreams have never been so haunting. Forgot, it's a dark list. Here we go. Ever since I was a teenager, I've dreamed about an alternate life where I go to university and work in a city that I've never been in. It started around when I was 16 or 17 and now I'm 25. It's super detailed where I go on hikes, I hang out with friends, I bike through neighborhoods and do mundane everyday life things. The university is outside of a major city and I'm always exploring nature, beaches, islands, all that jazz. Last night I was feeling sick and in return had one of the most vivid dreams I've had in a long time. I met someone and developed a deep relationship that felt incredibly emotional and real. Luckily I woke up right when I was trying to navigate Google Maps to drive to a park so I remember the streets that we were on. The street was called Dutch Island Road. I never heard of it in real life so I decided to look it up. The only thing that popped up was a rural area in Rhode Island. It wasn't exactly the same layout of the roads I remember on the map but the nature and area looked eerily similar to what I saw while driving. I start looking around the area, clicking different locations and I start to freak out on how everything looks just like in my dream. Mind you I've never been to Rhode Island but the weirdest part is that specific buildings in the Rhode Island University and Warwick area ones, those are the same ones that I saw in my dream all the time. I've always thought that my dreams are a glimpse of living an alternate universe and I feel like this detail solidifies the potentiality of it being a reality. Thoughts? Uh, too many big words. Those are my thoughts. Potentiality. Potentiality. I'm gonna start using that in the next list. You'll hear that from me in the future for sure. Otherwise, so scary. Hope that goes away. Or doesn't? I don't know. Do you like it? I, would, I wouldn't like that. If I dreamt about an alternate life, I'm like, yeah, I actually have two jobs. It's exhausting. I never sleep. Number six. Good times, dad times. Coming from Reddit user ApprehensiveHumor55, they say, when I was young, from the ages of around three to 10, I was truly convinced I'd already lived a full life. I remember being around 40 years old with a wife and three kids, two boys and a girl. And then one day I just woke up as a child and my past was all just a big blur with random memories that would come to me here or there. I'm smiling because this is funny, but like it's so scary. This is my biggest fear I think in life. It made no sense. My parents said that I used to tell stories about when I was a dad and they would just laugh it off and be like, oh, that's, that's your imagination, obviously. But deep down, I genuinely did have these strange memories of a past life. For instance, when I was four years old, my family went to Disney World and the whole car ride down, I was telling stories about when I was a dad and I went to Disney World. <laughs> just a kid in the back seat with milk like, oh yeah, these roads. Still haven't fixed them. The weirdest thing is that when we got to Disney World, I knew that I'd already been there before. I knew where everything in the park was and was essentially showing my family everything. At that time, my family just thought it was weird that I knew where everything was, but at the time in my head, it all made sense. To me, I just knew where all the rides were because of when I was a dad. After a while, I stopped telling these stories of when I was a dad because my siblings would always make fun of me for it. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing, this is my worst, you, you, I'm laughing at you a little bit, this is crazy. Eventually, I just started going on with my life and haven't thought about much of it since, although I wish I did, because the memories back then were much more vivid and real than how they are now. He's gonna be so confusing, 30 years to his kids, he's like, ah, oh, when I was a dad for the first time, Disney was way less busy. Kids are like, first time? What other family? What are you talking about? Why is mom crying? That's so scary. Um, I buy into this. I don't know, the afterlife, maybe that past dad died and then you were reborn? I don't know, that's scary, I don't wanna think of it. Number five, spirit animal. Do you believe in spirit animals? I kinda do, I want to at least. Ever since I watched Harry Potter, I always wanted a Patronus. Mine would be a frog for sure, it'd be like a little, little, little lanky frog. Wouldn't be cool at all. This next one makes me want to believe. Coming from user Less Cold, they say, about 30 years ago, I was a young college student heading back to college after break in an overnight bus. I was about 19, didn't drink or anything, had no history of mental illness, and was reading a book when seamlessly, I wasn't in the bus anymore. Anymore. I was now swimming around a rock formation which I knew was part of my hunting territory and was chasing a fish which I then caught in my mouth and could feel the bones crushing between my teeth and it wriggling against my whiskers. That's how they posted it. No in between. They're just like, yeah, I was reading a book and all of a sudden I'm a fish. I was totally at ease. I was fast and agile and I could feel the drag of the water. Like, you know, the pull of the current question mark. I like how they included that mansplaining the current of the water. They're like, I being a fish know this, but do you know about this? I'm like, yeah, we know about currents, man. <sighs> I'll continue. As I moved effortlessly through it, I knew my body and where I was going and what I was doing and there was no alarm whatsoever that anything was amiss. You know, I didn't realize that I was really a 19 year old on a bus. The whole experience couldn't have lasted longer than 30 seconds or so and then just as seamlessly as I once was there, I was then again back on the bus. I remember sitting there for a second staring at the page of my book before, you know, having a WTF just happened reaction kicked in and then I had a bit of a mental freak out. Then a few years later I saw a documentary about sea otters and I knew then that that's what I had been for that brief moment in time. I knew it's impossible 
possible, but it happened to me and surely I can't be the only one. I don't know, man. I've never been a sea otter before. Chris, have you been a sea otter? You don't think so. You don't think. You never know. Never say never, though. Has anybody ever heard of something like this or have, has it happened to you? Have you been reading a book and then all of a sudden you're a sea otter eating a fish with whiskers? If so, sound off down below. Sea otters are just smacking the keyboard. They're like, help. Help me switch back. Number four, switching universes. Coming from Mulks23, this one is so specific that it may very well just be real. Honestly, I'm a little convinced. I've been wanting to share this for some time now. A few months ago, one morning, I believe when I woke up, I did so to a different universe. Similar to ours, but different in some aspects. Before I went to sleep the night before, I kept my Surface tablet on my nightstand and it was absolutely fine. The next day when I opened it though, I could see a large crack across the top. There's nothing, repeat nothing, that could have caused the crack. I was disappointed, of course, the tablet's new, but I didn't think much of it. However, over the course of the following days, I noticed some things slash events are significantly different than how I remember them to be. An actress that I know was married to a gangster is happily now married to a businessman. A different actress married said gangster, a name that I would have definitely known. I'm from India and I settled in US and this is a Bollywood actress in question. A series that was being released on Amazon Prime is now on Netflix, question mark. Yeah, that happens all the time. I'm still asking those questions myself. I'm watching Harry Potter on like three different platforms. Like what's going on? The movie Morbius, I've seen this movie. I thought they must have remade this or something, but nope, it was a new movie. A few other things as well, but those I can attribute to misplaced memories. Not the above though. Also, I definitely did not hit my head or anything which could have caused me to remember things differently. I mean, after all of that, I gotta ask, how is Morbius? It doesn't look that bad, honestly. Hope Spider-Man's in it. Thanks for sharing, Mulks23. Hopefully you're in the right universe. Number three, Cosmic Commute. This one has me stumped, folks, I'm not gonna lie. Username IcyFlame to you says, in January, I left my friend's home at almost midnight. I live not even 10 minutes north of her. I remember getting in my car and then boom, I'm pulled over by the police. It's 2.10 a.m. now and I'm one hour north of her, close to crossing state lines. In a city I have never been to, I don't even know how to get out there and what freeways I took as we are not really close to any freeways. How did I get there and what happened to a whole extra hour? When I returned home, I was having such anxiety from it all that I was throwing up and everything. We just don't understand what happened. The comments were supportive here. Some suggest to look into epilepsy, but the OP responded right after saying that they did. And luckily that wasn't the case. So what do you guys think it is? Comment down below. I think definitely a time leap. That's pretty crazy. Number two, dog treats and universe leaps. Anything involving dogs, I buy into it. I mean, who would lie about dogs for attention, right? Only psychos, I guess. Username meman42069 says, when I was getting ready to go to my brother's house, I packed some stuff for my dog since he was coming. I put my dog's toys, leash, two dog shirts, and treats. I packed them all up. And when I got to my brother's house, I was looking for my dog's treats and my dog's treats were not there. I vividly remember putting my dog's treats in a bag. And the weird thing was when I got home, his treats were in the exact spots that I picked it up from and it didn't fall out of the bag and somebody didn't put it back because I live alone. So I was thinking maybe I slipped into a parallel universe where I didn't pack my dog treats. I've been weirded out by it for the past year and I've been trying to come up with a better reason. I mean, that sounds alarming 100%, but panicking about anything that involves dog treats, it's just hilarious to me, sorry. Yeah, I hope you figure out your problem, but more importantly, I hope your dog doesn't get stiffed on treats again. And finally, number one, 2016 again. This one caught my attention, it caught it real, real bad. Posted five days ago by user Silence v Silence, they say, the universe is currently shifting and it has been the past few days. The last time a change took place like this was November 2016-ish. Some of you already know this. I'm sure you felt it in the air over the past week like I have. It feels positive. I hope it is. First comment has tons of upvotes here and it says, your ears ringing real bad too? Question mark. This is insane because my ears have been ringing a lot in the past month. I mentioned it to Olivia, swear to God. Are your ears ringing? I don't know. What universe are we in? Do we want a part two of this list? Hit that thumbs up if so. Number 10, the London Hammer. Many times in history, people have found objects that they think could be evidence of a parallel universe intersecting with our own. Those thoughts were raised again when in 1936, a hammer was found in London, Texas. While on a walk, a couple found a hammer that looked like ones that had been used in the late 1800s. So cool, they found an old hammer. Well, there's actually much more to it. The hammer had not rusted at all and still hasn't since it's been found. And it was also found encased in rock that dated back to the Cretaceous period. For those of you who don't know, that's around 100 million years ago. This is obviously weird because most people agree that humans only started popping up around 200,000 years ago. So how could this hammer have come to exist? Some people believe that it's the remnant of a parallel universe where humans developed long before they did on our Earth, or that it had potentially traveled back in time. If you live in Texas and want to check out this infamous hammer for yourself, you can find it at Carl Bowes Creation Evidence Museum in Glen Rose, Texas. Number nine, black holes. 
The existence of black holes is one of the greatest yet unexplained wonders of our universe, the first picture of a black hole only having been taken back in 2019. So how are they evidence of parallel universes? Well, let's get into some science here. Black holes are so hard to study because everything we've sent out there to try and get information is never seen again, people assuming that it's destroyed upon entering the hole. But Stephen Hawking said that whatever enters a black hole does come out, but it comes out out in another universe. Because of the law of conservation of mass, even if something is destroyed, evidence of its presence would still be able to be seen. They would be visible in hair-like images that trace its path into the black hole. But Stephen Hawking noticed that evidence showed these hairs were not present, meaning the item has completely disappeared from our universe. And I'm really hoping this is making sense. Stephen Hawking says that this is good evidence that they have been transported to another universe, saying, Black holes are not the eternal prisons that we once thought. Number 8. Cloud City In October of 2015, Chinese citizens were shocked by what appeared to be a floating city within the sky. Multiple people taking photos and videos of the cityscape that seemed to loom above them within the clouds. The shape was far too specific to brush it off as being anything man-made, and looked to clearly be a cloud city. People were left wondering what it could be, and theories popped up of parallel universes, or even even secret holographic technology. There was no time to answer these questions or speculate if it had even happened at all as the exact same thing took place again in China in March of the following year. More photos and videos popping up again of the incident. Many people believe that this supposed city in the sky is evidence of another universe crossing over into our own. Feel free to take a look at the pictures for yourself and make your own decision. Number 7. Deja Vu Have you ever been walking down the street and gotten the sudden feeling like you'd done that before even though you haven't? This is a phenomenon that is known as deja vu or already seen. As of yet, there is no real scientific explanation for why people all over the world experience these feelings. And there are theories that range from memory problems to glitches in the matrix. People who believe that deja vu is evidence of parallel universes describe it like this. Think of a radio where you can only hear one frequency at a time. The parallel universes beside us are at different frequencies, however it's possible that for one small moment, the universes might vibrate at the same frequency and become in sync. Since parallel universes are all supposedly just slightly different, when these in sync moments happen and you believe that you've already had this conversation before, it's possible that you feel that way because you did, just in a parallel universe. Number six, the double slit experiment. Okay, this one is very sciencey, so bear with me. The double slit experiment was performed in the 1920s and seemed to offer convincing evidence of potential multiple parallel realities. The theory proposes that if tennis balls were fired at a wall through a single slit, then the marks on the wall would line up with the slit. So if you created two slits, it would create two lines on the wall. And if you fired waves through the wall, they would go through the splits, but still continue to spread out and leave multiple lines on the wall. And electrons should theoretically act in the same way that tennis balls do, but they didn't. They also made multiple lines as though they had been interacting with each other in the way that the waves did. But even when fired one at a time, it still made two sets of waves. For this to happen, it would mean that each electron somehow managed to travel through both slits. When they tried to film the electrons, they instead went back to just forming two lines like tennis balls. So this suggests that while parallel universes may be interacting with our own, we just don't have the technology to see it. Number 5. The Blue Rock Alright, after that, let's go to something way more simple. In fact, let's go to something something as simple as a rock. In 1990, in Sierra Leone, West Africa, an archaeologist found a puzzling bright blue stone. When it was sent for studies, it was found that it was not similar to anything that could be found on Earth, and it was determined that it was not from this planet at all. One person who once held the stone said, It was perplexing and I had no idea what I was looking at, and I had no point of reference to compare it to anything else I had previously seen or handled before. Parts of this stone have come into the possession of many many collectors over the years, and it is incredibly highly valued, likely because many people believe that similarly to the London Hammer, this is an artifact that has traveled to our own Earth 
from a parallel universe. Number four, the Mandela Effect. The term the Mandela Effect first came around in 2009, when a woman named Fiona realized that she and many others shared a false memory of Nelson Mandela having died in prison when in reality he was still alive. She created a website to explain her observance of this phenomenon, shocked by just how many people all over the globe could possibly share this false memory. Over the years, many people have come together to share different examples of this Mandela effect. Some of the most famous ones being the spelling of the Bernstein Bears title, Darth Vader saying Luke I am your father instead of no I am your father, and Curious George having a tail. Many people believe that a possible explanation for this is that the false memories are correct, but they're correct in a parallel universe, the memories bleeding over into our own world, as how else could so many people share this same fake memory? Number three, the cold spot. All right, back to science once again. When the Big Bang created our universe, the wavelengths of light expanded, changing the color and temperature of the universe to what we now perceive as black, creating the cosmic microwave background which maps the creation of our universe according to the Big Bang. While scientists were studying this background, they discovered what they referred to as the cold spot, being the size of 1.8 billion light years. While also being colder, it apparently also contains 20% less matter than it should. So how could they possibly explain the existence of this cold spot and why it is the way that it is? Well, experts believe that this is evidence of a parallel universe having crashed into ours through quantum entanglement, impact forcing energy out of the area and leaving behind the cold spot. Number two, the Hadron Collider. Researchers at the Super Collider in Switzerland started researching in 2015, hoping to find evidence of alternate universes. They have done various different tests trying to find these parallel universes that would not exist in the visible three dimensions of our own universe, but instead be made up of dimensions that we cannot perceive. One scientist theorized that the Hadron Collider could reveal particles that could only exist in these other dimensions, and being able to see them would give us almost undeniable evidence of the existence of parallel universes in line with our own. She said that these particles would have the exact same properties of particles in our own universe, but would have greater mass. All of this is still theoretical right now, but plenty of theoretical things from the past have been discovered and made reality, so it may not be long. Number one, the Towered Traveler. In 1954, a European plane landed in Tokyo. On the plane was a man who spoke several different languages, and he told the people there that he was visiting on business. He then gave them his passport, which said that he was coming from a place called Towered. If you've never heard of this country, then don't worry, you're not alone. That's because it doesn't actually exist, and it's a fictional country that is in between the borders of France and Spain. The man's passport was visa stamped, and he even provided a bank statement from the Tau Red Bank. His documents were taken and held in airport security while the man was left in a guarded hotel room waiting for police to arrive. But when they got there, the man was gone. People believe that this man was a visitor from a parallel universe where European history was different and led to the creation of the country of Taurus.